see most of life comes and growth comes in nature at night. And we're scrambling to make our day longer, right? So we can grow, so we can get more done, so we can be more productive in life. Anyone ever been there? If I could just get a couple more hours of work done. You know, I'll just, I'll just work to exhaustion and I'll... I, And it's a bad economy because God actually set something us, uh, up for us, a cycle up for us so that there would be exponential growth. I know uh, we've done videos about it before, but by the time we're 60 years old, we'll have slept 20 years of our life. A third of our life is dedicated to rest, and God created that. Do you think maybe it's important? Do we think that maybe God knew what he was doing? And maybe, just maybe, if only I pay attention to two-thirds, the waking hours of my day, and don't value the other third, I only tap into two-thirds of the wisdom of heaven. I think it's so important. The Hebrew co culture lived from rest, not for rest. And we live in a culture of produce more, do more, stay up later. And we're killing even our body physiologically. I, I, I don't know if I'll get to it. Well, it depends. But there's... I've got this study that I looked at, and there are 11 health um, results or healthy things that rest set up in your life. And since the advent of electricity and now even greater into technology and some of those things that are accessible all the time, and I can synthesize sunlight and fake my body that it's still time to be awake, and we have less and less sleep. Hypertension has grown. High blood pressure has grown. Anxiety has grown. Heart disease has grown. All kinds of things have grown out of a lack of rest. And maybe, just maybe, some of the stuff that's going on in our life is due to I don't have healthy habits. And, and number one, so it's set up for rest. But number two, it's set up for intimacy, right? The bedroom is the place of intimacy. And from that intimacy, it's supposed to produce life, right? So a husband and wife come together and, and they make love and they have a baby. It's the birds and the bees, right? We know this. But the same way, that's an intimate time with God where heaven can download its strategies. And the Hebrew culture, they even prayed into it. God, would, I, I'm expecting a visitation. I'm expecting to, to, to have some kind of communication with you. Chris put it really well talking about Job 33. Uh, uh, Though men may not perceive it, you're having visions and dreams at night. Even though you don't recognize it, science says we all dream. Not all of us remember our dreams. There's a couple of reasons why. Number one, God seals it. It's God's plan to keep it hidden. Why? I think it has something to do with the sower of the seed. Remember that parable in the sower of the seed? And he, he, he scatters the seed and some falls on rocky soil, some falls on good soil, some the birds of the air snatch it up, some the, the heat scorches it and it dies before it can produce roots. Sometimes God hides the fact that you had a dream and the revelation of it so that it can establish roots in your spirit enough to where the enemy can't snatch it up from you. And sometimes it's the grace of God. It's the grace of God to actually hide it because if he didn't hide it, what would we do? We would declare it. Oh, look at this amazing thing. And the moment we declare it, it invites opposition to the seed. 
And what a generous God to hide things for us, not from us. What a generous God to do this kind of thing for, for us. And it excites me. And I want, and our, our desire as a team is that we would walk out of here with, with something that's not relegated to a small minority of people. This is not a small market that we are targeting right now. This is all mankind. God set this up for everyone. And God's waiting for the the Daniels and Josephs of this generation to raise up because kings are having dreams right now. Kings and queens, leaders of nations, leaders of movements, leaders of businesses, influencers all over, whether it's in Hollywood or or in, in New York, whether it's in the fashion capital of the year uh, the the world it doesn't matter where you're at god wants to touch people and is touching people in dreams 